Off we go. First pitch swinging from Belbin into right. And Stephen Reed roams to the gap for out number one. 3 1 on the way. Hit well. On a line. Left center field. Got Logan Jordan starts the scoring in Knoxville. A bullet to left center. Wow. That was loud. I mean, it got out like now. Like it was gone. And that's what's going to happen, you know, when you get far behind in the counts as a pitcher with these offenses. More from Minnesota. Stung that one. And now it gets followed up by a wall ball rope from Connor Denning. Legs for second. And on two pitches, two bullets. Man at second on pitch number nine. In the air to right. And Reed roams to his left for the first out. Denning advances 90 feet. A healthy 100% catcher in baseball right now. He rolls it to second to get a run home. So an RBI ground down from the Wiley veteran. But a better take. And now Arias pulls it to left. Off the wall. Gonzalez scoops. Arias digs and slides in safely. 25th pitch of the inning is golfed in the air by Tyler Halstead to right and gone! Second big fly of this second inning for Campbell. And a four spot in the second. That hits in their nine spot. And he's got an OPS above a thousand. And now Jared Belvin goes back to back. Obliterated. Wow. Well, we talked about staying out of the big inning, right? Two was okay. You can give up two, you got two out, nobody was on base. Flip to boot for Belvin as well. And now the first pitch gets hunted by Lawson Harrell to the wall. He digs for second. Gonzalez's throw is not in time. And it's a sixth extra base hit of the inning. We both playfully took the over on that. And Zach Neto's adding to it. Oh! Crushed down the line and foul ever so slightly, according to Wilson Rayner. Just foul down the line. 3 2. Is up high and Neto walks. Already lasted more than 20 minutes. Jordan in the air. Center field. And Colin Hall ends the inning. Because he got a bad jump and he just decided he was going to keep going. He rolls it right side past the dive of Arias and into right field. So Simpson is on. Maybe we'll see him run at some point. And then you got Parada you have to face, a guy you don't want to make a mistake to. Good pick at third by Melvin, and Arias is turned, not in time. Parada stays out at two. Looking his first time on a slider from Harrington. And he yanks this one past Belvin. Fair ball into the corner. Parada races to third. Gets the windmill there, and he will score. Georgia Tech is on the board here in the third. Gonzalez in the air to center. It sends Halstead back to make the catch up against the wall. South regular season titles. Three times tourney champs as well. Zach Neto unloads. Center field and off the top of the wall, but not out. Neto doubles. He is nearly homered twice in this game. Jordan rolls it left side. Jaden Jackson on the run. Safe at first. Tough play for Jackson. Jenkins had to come off the bat. 2 2 again. Lined up the middle into center field, a base hit. Neto to the plate. Hall's throw is not in time. It's a run scoring single from Connor Denning. 
Nubber back to Crawford. He gloves. Gets the four. Sips its turn is two. Much needed for Sam Crawford in the Jackets. We're seeing Corvallis in the Coral Gables region, right? Not, not playing at all today. Yeah. Tim Borden rips one to the wall in right center. And he's got a leadoff double for Georgia Tech to start the fourth. Everything's pretty easy. It comes easy. But the other two-thirds of the time, it's just kind of okay stuff. But you still got to figure out a way. Arias knocked it down, but a run scores. On a hot shot from Colin Hall on the ground, Borden comes in from third. And Georgia Tech trims the margin to four. Harrington deals. In on the hands, gets a slow roller to Neto. He throws out Jackson. Record small season. Well, we start the sixth inning with a fly ball in the left that drops down in front of Tres Gonzalez. So it's a leadoff single for Jared Belbin atop the Campbell order. Here in the sixth, in the Danny Hall. Down and away, ball four. First to have reached for Campbell here atop their lineup in the sixth. Last nine games. On the ground, left side. Jackson on the slide. His throw to first is not in time. Brown got his ground ball, but nothing that Jaden Jackson could do with it. This for the Camels that inning. 0-1. This is pulled. In the left field, base hit. Belvin scores. Here comes Harrell to the plate on a two-run single from Logan Jordan. Babin pulls it. Center field to the wall. shot for Ty Babin and he has blown it open for Campbell in the sixth. We're letting 18 to 22 year old kids make their own decisions about their future. That's when it gets iffy and you got to put that back on the head coach and say hey. One two. Runners off. Parada's throw is a good one. Kevin Parada throws out Waldy Arias. Get their bodies in a little bit better shape, and all of a sudden, the stuff just jumps. 2-1. Reed hits it on the screws into right center field, and it goes all the way to the wall. Borden gets waved around third and scores all the way from first on a check. It's RBI double from Stephen Reed. Ain't no quit in Georgia Tech, that's for sure. This year, to just give you an idea. Jackson fights this one into the air in left field. Neto goes all the way out, but it's Jordan who makes the catch. And that serves up a souvenir. Getting is over. The only other guy I've seen run like him is Trey Turner. Kevin Parada nearly takes off the cleat of Thomas Harrington. Rips one into center field. His second hit in his many trips and a one-out single. This hits Andrew Jenkins on a two-strike offering from Harrington. So he wobbles here. Hits this one in the air, right field. It sets Harold back and it's off the wall. Parada scores. Gonzalez gets waved around. It's a two-run double from Tim Borden. This is a six-run game here in the seventh. One-two. Hung on to by Babin. Harrington gets through seven. Three-two. Neto rolls it towards short. Jackson has to hurry. Not in time. Fourth time that Zach Neto's been on here. First pitch swinging here, and Connor Denning shoots it into left. Neto races to third, and he's safe. Aggressive base running from Zach Neto on a ball to left field going first to third. I'm with you, I think so. Now this one kicks away from Parada, and Neto scores. So it's been sloppy from Georgia Tech. I don't this know how is I what feel two about boxes that. were made for. Well, after the walk, it's a bunt. Jenkins flips, a run scores. Ty Babin drops one down to score Connor Denning.
the baby can turn the tears into a smile. Darius waiting on a 2-2. On the ground, left side at Jackson with gloves. And that's the inning. It quickly comes to the top. I mean, look at that. It's not like a typical pitcher. 2-2 pitch. On the ground, up the middle, base hit, center field. It scores a run. Chandler Simpson with an RBI single here in the eighth inning to make it 13-6. Straight up in the air. Yeah. But see how he quickly gets into that hitting position. He walks for the second time. He's 1-2 again. Jenkins rolls it up the middle. Neto collects, slings a rocket. Sounds like. And that might mean Chance Huff may get the start. Roped off the wall in right by Tyler Halstead. He doubles to start the ninth inning. To Zach Neto. Outside. That is ball for Zach. Payoff pitch. Jordan, did he go? No. Works a walk, they're loaded. His payoff. Ooh. Misses, it's ball four. Georgia Tech can't believe it. Finitary walks in a run. Defense next year, I think the talk, and I don't know if they ever go wood bat, but you should go back to maybe a racing ball that doesn't quite go as far, maybe. 30th pitch of the inning is sky to left. Tres Gonzalez comes in. Inning is over. That. Tres Gonzalez lines in left field base hit. Cleanup man is on to start the last of the ninth for Georgia Tech. Borden in the air to left center field with a two run shot. Georgia Tech not done yet here in the ninth. Tim Borden has had an outstanding day. Drew Captain, first pitch swinging center field base hit. First time he's been on in five trips. Guys just grinding at the plate. 3 2, Romano pops it up, foul ground. Belbin's there, and Campbell wins it. They take the opener here in this Knoxville regional.